so gentlemen we have seen how this vit is controlled by the governor linkage which controls the fuel linkage for the individual fuel pumps so we have seen that one rod comes from the governor side and it rotates this piece about this point and in that process this lever is free to swing either anti clockwise or clockwise this piece this vit console this vit console has to be placed horizontally at such a position that this lever and it rests on both this point this point and this point at the 85% of the fuel linkage so first the 85% for the fuel linkage is rotated and so this thing this lever takes the certain position and we have to bring this console close and close so that it then rests on the this lever is resting on this both these pins this pin this support and this support that is the 85 percent at the 85 percent of the fuel pumps or the main engine MCR and how to decide the 40 percent now these supports are free to move up and down this is free to move up and down Okay. Now the lever is taken at the forty percent according to the fuel linkage of the fuel pumps as per the main engine. Manual, and it is kept at that forty percent, and it is so adjusted that. The lever just touches the pin here of the pin of the reducer. That means at forty percent, it just starts to advance the fuel injection. So this is done by moving the this top support. Up or down at that particular angle of the rotation of this support. This is the position for the forty percent. Then this has been set for starting of the advancement. That means starting of the air, which is. Given to the VIT indexes, VIT index controlling servos, or and the next thing comes how to set the eighty-five percent is already set. Now the question comes how to Ensure that the at the full load there will be 
normal full injection without any advancement. So this will turn, this arm will turn in this way and put this lever at that point. Say here, if it is putting the lever here, Now it can be seen that the at the maximum fuel the arm will rotate to this point, this point, and then the this point the support should be so adjusted that at the maximum rotation of this arm it is then this pin is no more compressed that means the output air is no more for the any VIT advancement this is done by upward and downward movement of this support which is arranged to move like that with the screws. So in that way the three positions that is for the 40% this is for the 40 percent and at parallel position touching both these points it is for the 85 percent and at this point at, at this point maximum point 100 percent it can be set like this so that is how it is set and of course according to the main engine parameters in the manual whatever compensations or allowances are to be kept that is to be kept in mind and adjusted accordingly so these three positions are to be Set. So, gentlemen, what we have done by setting the three points that is 40 percent, 85 percent, and 100 percent. 40 percent is the point at which the lever starts to press inside the pin of this reducing valve. That means it starts to give signal air to the servo pistons of the VIT controlling cylinders. After that edge load goes on increasing, it rotates in this direction. It rotates the lever, swings the lever in the anti clockwise direction and the lever is pivoted against this point. Now until and unless till the time it is resting at this point it is continuously going on pushing this pin inwards. That means the output supply output air from this reducer is going on increasing when it is going on pressing inside. That means till the time the pin is pushed inside it is output pressure is going on increasing. That means when it is parallel, 
when it is testing on both of, both of the supports. That means at a different percent. Beyond which, again, it has to be retarded. That means after it has come to this parallel point, once it has come to this parallel point, what is done is that it is again so now the position at the eighty five percent is when it is touching both the supports. That means it is only up to this point that the pin can be moved inside. That means it is only up to this point that the pressure can be increased for the VIT index. And beyond that point, as it goes on rotating, it swings in its anti-clockwise direction now. And the lever goes further and further from the pin. That means now the setting for the reducer goes on reducing. That means the advancement of the fuel pumps is now going on decreasing up to from 81% to 100%. That is the way these three points are matched.